is. I'll add it at the end of this recording. In regards to my scout for a fossil fuel expert for the Whittier Corp. Virginia project, I've narrowed it down to a handful of choices. Unfortunately, there is no clear front runner, but I'd like to have this wrapped up before the holiday weekend. Holiday. Where are you, my sweet girl? Now entering, Bertie Anders. Bertie? Now departing, Bertie Anders. Now entering, Bertie Anders. Now departing, Bertie, Bertie Anders. Bertie, would you mind stopping that? <laughs> Sorry, Ivan. Just messing with you. I'll be hanging with my mom for the rest of the day. No, you won't. Your mom is working. Then you probably shouldn't have told the driver to drop us off at Whittier Corp Tower after school. I did no such thing. You're right. I convinced him to come here. So much for learning from your mistakes. Where are your brother and Brinley? You mean Mr. and Mrs. Smoochie Face? No clue. They went in separate directions once we walked outside. I think there's trouble in Barfil. Just what we need. So, what's the latest here? Head still spinning after Angelico's bizarro announcement this morning? I can honestly say this has been the world's longest day. I've been trying to decide how I feel about the holiday project. I mean, on one hand, it's super scary to have an army of holiday robots, and on the other hand, lots of holidays, so yay. Let's not go down this rabbit hole. I have to get back to work, and you have homework to do. But homework is so meaningless when the world could be taken over by robot clones of my sister. Go. Sit at that desk over there and zip it. Boring. Now where was I? Fossil fuels, the Virginia project. Oh yes, the search for the expert. I was hoping to have a more definitive selection at this point, but none of this feels right. I don't know if I'm being manipulated or intentionally diverted or both, but... Now entering Cyrus Anders. Mom, I have the perfect guy for your fossil fuel project. Hello to you too, Cyrus. Uh, sorry, hi. So there's this guy I know who works with oil. Okay, he's the only guy I know who works with oil, and I don't really know him. Fill me in later, please. I've got to get focused here. Hey, Cyrus, did I tell you about the twins? Cora and Dora? No, what happened? Got caught cheating. Like, they had some weird twin bait-and-switch mind-melt thing all worked out. Ugh, oh, diabolical. Kids, working! Sorry, Mom, but if I could just finish my thought, this would help solve your problems with Angelica and my problems with, a. Uh... Uh, the orchestra? No, Cyrus, not now. The orchestra? I, I wasn't talking to you, Bertie. Does Brinley know that you call her the orchestra? It's not about Brinley, but Mom, I did find a way to get her out of the house. Everyone stop talking! I don't want to hear another word about Cora or Dora or the orchestra or the army of holidays. Get your homework done in silence or find somewhere else to wait. Yeesh. I'm going to the gift store to get some gum. Perfect. Charge it to my account. Now depart, Cyrus Anders. I'm staying put, but I'll keep quiet. Thank you. Okay, as I was saying, I've interviewed six experts, but so far none seem to fit Angelica's criteria. So, honestly, why do I even worry about her? Shouldn't I trust my gut? Yes. Not talking to you, Birdie. Shutting up again. Now entering, friendly Pasternak. Really, universe? Hey, Dr. Anders. Yo, Birdbrain. Anyone seen Cyrus? You just missed him. He went to the gift shop. What's in the gift shop? Gum. Oh, and he said something about getting you out of the house. What? Girls, can you keep it down, please? Like, for a surprise? Well, he said I figured out a way to get Brinley out of the house, so you decide. OMG! Who does he think he is? Girls! I am exhausted. I have tons of work left to do, and I'm trying to stop the people I work with from ruining the world. So I say this with nothing but love for both of you. Get out. I'll go, go to the gift shop to, to find Cyrus. Bye, Later, Mr. Mom. Now departing, Bertie Anders and Brinley Pasternak. Thank you. Okay, back to my recording. Wait, why won't it turn on? What's wrong? Oh, come on. I'm going to be here all night, Ivan. Should I order you dinner? Hang on, Casey. We're coming in for a landing. Hanging on. Nicely done, Huffy. Bet you didn't miss this place, Case. No, although I do prefer the roof of the Whittier Court building to the bunker in the basement. 
I forgot how high it is up here. Cyrus seriously pushed you off the edge? Saved my life by doing it. I know I'm a freak of nature, but you're like the freakiest of freakiness, Spring Break. I say that with mad respect. Can we stop yapping and start focusing? Does everyone know they're part of the plan? Electro Girl? Yep, I knock Ivan out, kill all the power in the building. Holiday. When the backup generator comes online, I hack in and turn off everything, except I make sure Dr. Whittier is locked in his office. Cam? Adam and I sneak in and kidnap the old man. Easy peasy. As long as Badger does his job. I'll be in the barracks distracting the child catchers. My favorite hobby. And you're sure my family isn't here, Badge? Uh Uh-huh. Mr. Anders' car was in the driveway back at the house, and he was making dinner for the troops. What do they have to do with this holiday? It's bad enough I have to face Dr. Whittier again. The last thing I need tonight is to run into my family.